it's hot today. I mean, really, really hot. But that's good, I'm not complaining. Now we finished more or less with the uh, subframe. We finished with the uh, seat, kind of. The petrol tank is relocated where I want it to be. Um, there are a few, a few major things I still want to do, but today I'm going to focus on trying to organize the electrics and some other bits and bobs. So, um, not very interesting. However, I like to, uh, I like, I like working on electrics. It's strange, but it's very satisfying when you do it properly. Um, and I kind of, it happens that I kind of know how to work with electrics. I never learned that anyway, you know, anywhere. I never went to any school or university or, or never take any classes of that. It just kind of works with me. I, I can't explain it. All I know is all my mates, you know, they got an electrical problem. They come to me and sometimes I can fix it. Sometimes I can't, but this helps. Let me show you what we're going to do today. Right. So as you know, I want to move all the electrics, relays and all the other shit. Uh, underneath the uh, the seat that's what the uh, subframe was designed for well one of the reasons and the battery is going to live in a in a frame underneath the petrol tank somewhere over there however this thing where is it uh, this thing um, the rectifier regulator I want it to be on the outside because it's air cooled so I don't want it stuck it underneath there I want to air pass through it. I mean, there's a reason it's designed like that. It's uh, it's getting quite hot, electrical part. Nobody knows what goes inside that unit. It's a black magic. It really is. However, um, I think the perfect spot for it was is over here, straight or one way or the other. The reason that hole is here, it's the way the Yamaha designed this. Um, the air filter, the main air filter, was over here. And I was filtering the air going through the frame because that's our enclosed press unit through the frame and as you remember there's a big gap over there for the other air filter the secondary one right there and in the frame for the actual main carburetor which was feeding from down here does it not the original carb as you know the dual carbs were over here and I was feeding the air from underneath the petrol tank from the frame and there was another um, air filter there that suck in the air through this hole now I've eliminated all that I'm not having any of this I'm running as you car but you know so this hole is pointless right now it's not only pointless but because I'm not running any mud guards or any other things when I'm going to be riding in the rain which I will be riding in the rain all the water will come over here and get in there I know it's painted but eventually the water will be sitting there and it will start corrosion and rotting and all the other shit because I won't be able to to just tip it over and then and, you know turn the bike upside down so I figured it would be a good idea to mount this over here but I want to get rid of this hole first so the first project for today I'm going to weld it up and make it look like it's uh, one piece of steel one piece of frame and uh, that enclosed unit later on I'm going to create some kind of mount over here Let's uh, take care of this business first. So, um, as you know, all the fabrication business, it starts with a cardboard or paper of some sort. So I've got myself some cardboard over here. I'm going to measure that hole exactly as it, uh, as it is. And I'm going to cut the right shape, the right template out of the cardboard. And then I'm going to match it to steel. And I'm going to weld it into place. Not very interesting. So I'm going to do it off camera and, uh, and update you later. There we go. This is the hole before. That was originally for the air filter. That's my blanking plate. I will go somewhere in here like this. That's before. And after. Not bad for a monkey boy. Now, because 
I want to want this thing over here and that metal was um, well simply not thick enough to cut the thread through it where you could but it was only like uh, two three mil which is not good enough for a thread so what I've got a rounded off couple of nuts and the plan is to weld them into these spots they're in the right position so I just need to do a semi decent job on the uh, TIG welding them in place and I'm gonna grind off all the axes so hopefully that will work just as I imagine and here we are 10 minutes later uh, welded a couple of mats in there weld them around and grind it off nicely so uh, I got two beautiful mounting points over here in the frame like this so I can mount this bad boy nice and flush right here and here we go nice and simple I love when a solution works <laughs> no brackets oops no brackets no bushes just simple thread mount point in the frame I could probably put a couple of washes in between that just to give it some breathing room or something but I don't think that's gonna be necessary anyway and these thread are they're more than strong enough for this I mean they not hold any there's no excessive weight there's no excessive tension here this thing weighs less than uh, half a kilogram less than half a kilo and boom solid rectifier regulator mounted that will plug in here that will go around there to feed underneath the petrol tank to the rest of the electrics uh, this will go somewhere eventually uh, but yeah happy with that just need to clean it up and uh, job done jobs are good and moving on Alrighty, so once this is all mounted and out of the way, I don't need to worry about that part anymore. I need to do something with this mess over here. This wiring mess. It's a wiring harness. Um, a bit messy, but still pretty simple. The modern bike's got way more electrics going on here. So I will need to find a way to fit all this in here. <laughs> Somewhere. I got plenty of room underneath there. As we know, the battery is going to fit underneath the petrol tank in the frame. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but while I'm waiting for some, some more parts, because I ordered some, some extra parts for the uh, uh, handlebars assembly and, uh, and uh, rear sets. While I'm waiting for this to be delivered, I thought I'd maybe just uh, try to organize this mess a little bit. So, uh, see if I can make uh, any, any kind of progress today on this. There we go, sorted. What do you think, guys? I think that's a semi decent job. Once we put this over it, no one will ever see it. <laughs> no, of course, I'm, uh, I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's um, the more I look into that, uh, the more mess I can see, the more, the more things are messed up. And I mean, Nearly everything has been uh, modified by previous owner or previous owners, I guess, because the bike is 90, 83 or 82, I think. So um, even even things like the uh, ignition coils, there's a connection here with some uh, uh, electrical tape. I'm not even sure if that's electrical tape or not. And there's another connection in there. So they extended like in two places and did really, really bad job about it. I mean, just just look at that. Oh. And it goes everywhere. I mean, I don't even want to see what's underneath this uh, uh, tape and over here in the headlights. And it just this goes on and on. The list goes on and on. You got you got things like this sticking out everywhere. You know, loose connections and crimp wires not done properly. And this and some other things and some electrical household items like that. So. Um, not all of it is bad. I mean, 
what's going on in here is pretty much original and that's about the only good part <laughs> about this build so the rest of it everything you know i will need to go through and just redo properly uh a lot of soldering needs to be done over here i run out of um hit shrink so i can't really do anything right now uh, i will need to get some stock up with some supplies but once i do i will uh, i will get crack on it but as i said you know I s i'm waiting for some parts to be delivered right now so i just uh do as much dent in this as i as i can you know just to make some progress uh, also looking into it for the first time properly will uh, help me understand it a little bit more I've got the wiring di diagram printed over there, so that's not the end of the world And yeah, I mean it's it's a bit boring, so I won't be uh, filming the whole process Once I uh, tidy all up a little bit and maybe next time I'll uh, get some uh, get some soldering done Maybe I can put some more footage on this, but at the moment just uh, leave me to it and I'll uh, And I get it done one way or the other Okay, work in progress update number one. Um, I've labeled everything up, and I mean everything, every single thing, every cable that was everywhere. Because um, a lot of things is not like the uh, wiring diagram says it is. Uh, it's a lot of modified by uh, previous guys. By works, you know, it's, it's not a great job, which I will fix. By works, as it should be. So why fix something that is not broken? Uh, obviously he's gonna do a better job uh, on things like this but the main harness is kind of working and at the moment I'm just trying to work out where to root everything uh, and I think I found a good solution because uh, as it stands you can't see any wires obviously apart from this ignition coils at the moment and uh, some stuff from the battery hanging out over here but other than that this is clean there's no wires hanging anywhere um which is kind of great i'm really happy about it so uh what's happening here i'm rooting it uh from the front and remember this gap i have underneath the petrol tank that's right that's gonna go over there um let me take it off and i'll show you what's happening in there right so main thing is going to be hidden underneath underneath the seat section and as you can see it's quite busy i mean uh Okay, it's not going to be like this. I'm going to make it nice and tidy. But everything that I want to hide fits in here just fine. I mean, there's there's no room for anything else. You can't take the seat off to put your gloves in there or your personal belongings. <laughs> but electrics will be fitting in just fine, which is great. And now the part of the trick is underneath the petrol tank. So what's happening here the main harness going from the front of the bike is going to travel along the uh, next to the battery. Let me take it down. It's going to travel next to the battery. The battery sits in this recess where the uh, air filter used to be, as you've seen before, and which is very handy. I'm going to create a little box for the battery as well and then strap on top so it's secured in place. Uh, the battery probably not going to be this big. That's the original one. I'm gonna probably get a smaller battery for it. Not one of those bullshit anti-gravity ones and, and sealed units. But it's gonna be smaller, it's gonna be shorter by about uh, at least an inch, two centimeters, maybe three. So it sits uh, lower. I mean, as it stands, there's plenty of room underneath the petrol tank. But I would like it to keep a little bit smaller if possible. And then the main harness is gonna travel along here next to the battery. I'm gonna create tabs like this, basically, big bits of wire, spot weld them to the side so I can bend them over and keep the harness in place in a couple of spots and then it goes underneath the mount for the petrol tank and all the magic is going to happen here like as i said i got everything wired in um these probably these are the indicator cables i probably won't be running any indicators i haven't decided fully yet but i don't think i will so there's going to be a lot of less r r hassle over here with these cables with these wires and uh things like the fuse box i can bolt somewhere over here so that give me extra room in there and this uh, cdi unit as well that can be bolted somewhere out of the way and just make a bit neater job out of everything you know so it won't be so messy around here and then uh root the cables from the rectifier regulator the black magic box i need to extend them and root them through here 
um, and there's a there's a gap left on purpose over here obviously rhythm free here so they safely plug into one of those boxes and then um, probably from the uh, battery terminal the uh, solenoid which is which is here I'm guessing there's going to be plenty of room with the battery box to mount it close to it so I can just basically straight away wire it in to the battery and then just extend the cables to go over there if not I mounted over here next day these cables as wires uh, that's really not important right now what's important is the we've got a plan of action right now and it's this way and I think that's a pretty good solution because once everything is in place you don't see any wires apart from just uh, these cables but they will be nice and tight as well and I'm guessing I can probably do it from underneath uh, wiring through that hole um, I haven't decided yet but that's details you know um, yeah tie this all up and uh, we got a plan of action at least now and I know what's happening more or less just when I thought I've seen everything come on I'll show you you gotta see this just when I think I thought I saw everything that can be done on this bike I mean look at that <laughs> I mean Fucking hell, seriously? <laughs> Look how many connectors you got here. Block connector, block connector, block connector, block connector. <laughs> Welcome to electrical household, baby. <laughs> yeah, let me deal with this mess. Uh, it's gonna take me probably a couple of hours, maybe more, but hey. <laughs> you gotta love old bikes. Household mechanics, I salute you. Let's do this. Right, I've, I've been at it for at least 45 minutes now, and I'm not even halfway there. I thought it wasn't that bad, but it's worse than that. I mean, it's really, really beyond the, uh, beyond the reason. If you see anybody putting household items block connectors like this and a motorcycle give them a slap in the face i mean it's a bike it's not your house you know deserve some respect a little bit of respect this is uh this is very messy job and it's not only badly executed but it's like really sloppy and but don't worry little yamaha i'm gonna return you back to your former glory or even better than that actually don't worry you're gonna ride again. Yeah, current state of play. Um, I mean, how much cleaner is that looking right now? I mean, just by adding some bullet connectors, I can actually slide the whole thing back through or just unplug it all. And um, it just, there's no need for these, you know, connectors, you know, anywhere in the vehicle. Uh, but that's still not the uh, permanent solution. This is for me just to get my head around it, what's going on here. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to order like six-way plugs, six-way, four-way, five-way plug, probably a couple of them just to uh, and uh, see which one works best. And I just properly crimp them into a one block connector, which would be like six cables from one side, male into female from the other side. And same on this bunch because they are like uh, they need to be block connectors over here for like probably this is probably five way, six way over here and probably another four or five way this way. So I get blocks, male and female, and that's gonna be basically like this one here. Um, that was the original one which is not used at the moment. Uh, I'm not quite sure why. Or this one here, you know, three way connector and then goes to a female, uh, and there's one plug just comes off, you know, easily coming back on. So you don't need to remember which cable goes where and, and all that. So I'm going to do it properly, but this is just for now, um, just for now to get a little bit more sense out of it so I can see and understand what's happening. Uh, but it's already better. Let me see, I left the uh, end caps here just to uh, keep the wires connected together. But this is uh, 100 times better than it was before. But don't worry, that's not uh, the end of it. We're going to come back to it, but I don't have any other connectors or any other electrical parts today to play with. So... Um, We'll need to come back to it, uh, revisit it uh, another day. Yeah, so uh, that's it for today, guys. 
not very interesting, but electrics are not always very interesting. I know, uh, I know vehicle electrics and electronics and all that uh, is a thing that can probably send the nightmares to some of you. And, uh, and I can see that, you know, why? Because if you see uh, the whole wiring mess, the wiring harness, it's a scary thing. But if you break it down to small things like that, it's, uh, it's actually quite easy to, um, to progress with this, you know, just bit by bit. Break it down to smaller chunks and then you're good to go, um, in most cases anyway. Um, so yeah, um, while I'm waiting for uh, another major parts to be delivered so I can carry on progress, mechanical progress on this, I thought I uh, used this extra day half um, instead of drinking beer all the time I was in the sun. I make make some make do some progress on the um, uh, on the bike, and that's important to get my head around the electrics and electrical part of it, because uh, it is incredibly incredibly important process of any build, and I like to take my time and do it properly and do it nice and neat, so. Uh, even if you open up the uh, headlight, you don't have a mess like we've seen before. It's all done nicely and, and properly and professionally. That's another extra build, you know, extra bit of the build that makes that makes a difference. That makes the build a bit more professional. And um, I mean, in the end of the day, the bike is your pride and joy. And I'm working my ass off on this thing. I don't want, you know, any hidden treasures to be there uh, in case of bad electrics. You know, that's uh, that's not happening. So, yeah, guys. Uh, Join me on next time when I get some more uh, more parts, more connectors, and do a proper job for it. And I, I can update you what's going on. Uh, I'm not gonna film the whole process because it's rather boring and nobody wants to see this. But I'll uh, show you when it's done and properly um, properly wired in, so I can run you through the cables and uh, what's happening there. Alright then, until next time, um, have a beer, rock hard, and I catch you next time.